to Upton Park now in another match between West Ham and Arsenal. This time it's the quarter-final of the League Cup in 1998. Commentary comes from Clive Tilsley. Both teams made hard work of supposedly easy FA Cup assignments of the weekend. They know a lot more about each other than they knew about Emley and Port Vale. This is a, a heavyweight quarter-final and there are sure to be some heavyweight challenges. Hartson and Kitson trying to link up immediately. David Seaman's first kick of this Coca-Cola Cup campaign. It's Lazaridis, though. Here is Hartson. Martin Keown got to him. Bergkamp. Long-footed Unsworth. It's in towards Ian Wright! It was a good effort. The goals may have dried up, but the spring and the confidence have not as yet. And it's only a matter of time before they get their act together again. Nothing more certain of that. Helped on by Lampard. This is Kitson. Now Berkovic. Hartson offside. It's a nice idea. Very astute pass from Mel Berkovic. But Hartson had just strayed beyond Nigel Winterburn. Not by much. Hartson challenged by Bold, who seems to have come off the worst, and he's still down for the moment. Lazaridis. On to Frank Lampard. Strong burst by Lampard, and couldn't resist the shot in the end, and... Seaman had to be smartly down by his near post. Lampard, who got the taste for goals with a hat-trick in the last round against Walsall. Handball there against Ian Pearce. Graham Barber had a good view of it. Rather... Subdued protests from the big defender. This is a promising position. Bergkamp will be the favourite here. It's Dennis Bergkamp. It's a smart save by Craig Forrest. Well held. On target from Bergkamp. Managed to uh, defeat the wall, but not the goalkeeper. Lazaridis. Kitson to Berkovic. Impey tiptoeing forward, trying to get beyond Winterburn, who recovered his position and reacted quickly. David Unsworth just limping slightly. Ail Berkovic. In towards Paul Kitson. Oh, and Seaman caught him there, and that's a penalty. Definite body contact between goalkeeper and player. And Seaman was second to the point of action. And although he held his hands back, and although he looks rather quizzical, it's not difficult to see why Graham Barber pointed to the spot. Seaman caught him with his right leg. Kitson was going nowhere special, but he got there ahead of Seaman. Ian Wright has just had a word with Seaman who will know all about John Hartson himself. Arsenal old boy against Arsenal number one. John Hartson with a penalty. Saved by Seaman. Oh, that wasn't part of his dream last night. David Seaman, who saved a Julian Dix penalty on this ground a couple of years ago, was sent off here back in 93. Having conceded the penalty, saves the penalty, it wasn't very far away from him, was it? There's a yellow card off the ball for Patrick Vieira, meanwhile, as we review Seaman's fairly comfortable penalty stop, much to the disgust of Harry Redknapp. 
that's nice from Petit to right. Bergkamp, stolen by Potts. Oh, and Pierce ran into trouble, and here's Wright skipping away from Forrest and pulling it back. Well, there's nobody there. I wonder if there's any contact between Forrest and Wright at that instant in the penalty area when Ian Wright stole the ball. He didn't go down. Forrest was second to the action that time. It was a mistake by Unsworth. Bergkamp forced it on. Now, I don't think there was any contact, was there? Wright certainly wasn't looking for a penalty, to his great credit. Pots to Lazaridis. Little flick from Kitson, and here's Frank Lampard galloping clear. Lost the ball under his feet, and it is a very heavy pitch. But it was a very good opening. Bold's back pass, just about strong enough. Seaman towards Bergkamp, Ferdinand for company. Dennis Bergkamp, good stop by Forrest, and Impey just beats over Mars to the rebound. Agile and alert goalkeeping by Craig Forrest. Sweetly struck volley by Dennis Bergkamp. It's from that long clearance by David Seaman, Ferdinand just couldn't quite get on goal side of Bergkamp, who was allowed to get in the shot. Winterburn towards right. Oh, a lovely little nick inside Ferdinand, on by Bergkamp. This is right. That's a fantastic goal for Arsenal. And sooner or later, Ian Wright and Dennis Bergkamp were going to get their act together again. And that moment has arrived, and Arsenal lead after 25 minutes. Lovely little turn inside Ferdinand, lovely little touch on by Burkamp, and you wouldn't know that Ian Wright, by his standards, was in a bit of a drought. Tucked in off the chest of Forrest, but tucked away nicely. And the old firm are back in business. Unsworth. Hartson won the header, couldn't direct it, broke off over Marsh's arm, and the flag is being waved on the near side to indicate to Graham Barber that he should award a free kick to West Ham for that use of the arm. And look where it is. David Unsworth, number six, is a left footer. The angle seems to suit him. It's Lampard, though. Oh, and it hit the post! David Seaman didn't really get there. He made some contact in the end. And can be credited with the save, but he needs to be credited with some luck too. Frank Lampard very nearly beat him. Keown helping it on its way. Hairy moment for David Seaman. Scrambling across his line behind his wall. Oh, and he just actually got his foot on the ball before it hit the post. <laughs> and he did have a lot of his frame across there. Berkovic. Well, he had MP3, but he couldn't find him. <laughs> Winterburn can. Lampard. Pierce. Winterburn got there eventually. A lot was said about the respective strike partnerships prior to kick off this evening. Ian Wright and Dennis Burkamp haven't been having the very best of times, but aided by David Seaman's penalty save, the uh, two Arsenal frontmen have certainly looked more dangerous, more lively, more inventive than a troubled John Hartson following that penalty save and Paul Kitson at the other end. And Wright and Burkamp it was who conjured up the only goal of the first half after 25 minutes. At the break, West Ham United nil, Arsenal one. One nil, 
to the Arsenal. West Ham United's home record is imposing this season, 12 wins in 13 games at Upton Park. But Arsenal have won their last three matches on this ground and haven't lost here since 1987. bit of improvisation by Ferdinand. Liam Brady was actually amongst the West Ham scorers the last time they beat Arsenal here. Since then, Arsenal have won six and drawn two up the East End in eight visits. And they're on course for another good result here tonight. Here's Kitson trying to do something about that. In Pete. Kitson has some space there, and he directed the header pretty well, despite a, a buffeting from Patrick Vieira. He's had a spell out of the team following a groin operation, but has scored uh, three times in five games since his return. Now for three months. Here is Hartson. Locked it beyond Kitson, the header from Grimondi was into trouble. Lazaridis, Berkovic, oh, well struck. Seaman just helped it over. Slip there by Gilles Grimondi, opened the door for El Berkovic. Shot was pretty close to Seaman, but it was hit with a lot of power. Two or three yards either side of England's goalkeeper might have been interesting. Didn't really get it to move as much in the air as he would have liked. Taken by Lazaridis. Bowled up in front of Hartson, but the ball squirting back towards his own goalkeeper, who is alert. Berkovic, but deep inside his own half, Arsenal will be happy to keep him there. Pierce. Just over around the ball there, but Ian Pierce has looked quite accomplished in possession for a very big defender. Lampard miscuing, Bergkamp helping out. Bold forward. with just losing the ball momentarily and then finding it. Berkovic into the path of Pierce. Trying to run Grimondi. Good run this by Ian Pierce. And he's won a corner kick for West Ham United. He's only 23 years of age, but he's got interesting experience. He played a part in Blackburn's championship season, 95. Went on to play in the Champions League. Played in the under-21 side for England with the likes of David Unsworth. Lazaridis with a corner. Good header away by Martin Keown. Bergkamp is on the end of it, over miles and right of forward. Parler's trying to get there too. This is Ray Parler. Tried the angle pass for Ian Wright, which Steve Potts read. Berkovic. Kitson. Turn bowl, but Hartson was offside. A bit of frustration there, showing in John Hartson, who had a shot at Seaman nonetheless. Hasn't been able to get the handcuffs off tonight. And the memory of that saved penalty isn't helping. Unsworth, all oh, Ferdinand hesitated, here's a chance for Overmars, and Arsenal are gifted a second goal, and are in control of the quarter-final. 
Rio Ferdinand wishes the ground would open up for him. Mark Overmars, who scored twice against West Ham United at Highbury in September, is just given Arsenal's second goal of the night here. Seven minutes of the second half gone. Fatally, they allow the ball to bounce, and Overmars kept his head. West Ham United nil, Arsenal two. Goal number six of Mark Overmars' Arsenal career. Berkovic. Ran into Bergkamp. Right. Bergkamp has uh, Winterburn in support. Instead, it's in towards Ian Wright, overhead kick. Very nearly came off for him too. David Unsworth managed to get back there and do just enough. Bound by Bergkamp. Needed the challenge, really, from Unsworth to uh, take the sting out of Wright's ambitious attempt. Feeling that Burkham hasn't quite recovered his best form since the suspension that he suffered in November. One or two of the recent feelings about Burkham and Wright would have been dispelled tonight. Lazaridis. Lampard. On by Lazaridis. This is Frank Lampard. Keown pulled out of position. Lampard did well. Oh, and Hartson slipped. Still comes from Berkovic, though. Held up by Winterman. Hartson! Blocked by Petit. Hit by Ferdinand. Blocked by Keown. That's as stretched as Arsenal have looked at the back for a long time. David Unsworth trying to keep the pressure on, but it's an Arsenal throw. A little bit of encouragement for Harry Red now. Very important block in the midst of all that by Emmanuel Petit, because Kieran was pulled out of position, Lampard got in the free kick. Ironically, Hartson slipped and the ball seen Taylor made for him, but Petit blocked Hartson's shot and then Keown got in the way of the next one. Seemed to break off the hand of Bowl, but uh, the referee could hardly have been closer. An awkward bounce. Roland. On for Abu to chase. Oh, and Bowl doesn't deal with it! And somehow, Samasi Abu has pulled a goal back for West Ham. 15 minutes left to play. Abu's first goal for the club has given them some hope. And Keown and Bold undone by a ball played over the top of them. They've looked rock solid all night, but they had the shakes there as the ball dropped over the shoulder of Keown and bounced beyond Bold. And Abu just wrapped a foot around him, and suddenly West Ham United are in with a shout. Vieira to Parla. And here's with Wright. Well kept out by Forrest, Overmars is there. And somehow Forrest managed to rescue the situation. Time stood still there for an instant. But Craig Forrest, having kept out Ian Wright's attempt, just managed to punch the ball away from the onrushing Mark Overmars. Good keeping. Pops away. Keown slipped, Hartson couldn't prop it, Keown is still down and in some trouble, I think. And John Hartson is encouraging the referee to stop play because Martin Keown is flat out, and Gary Lewin, the physiotherapist, comes on, and one can only hope that it isn't Keown's shoulder again. He slipped, he was on the way down, and then... oh. I suspect it's not the shoulder. I suspect it's his right ear that's ringing a little bit. Again, John Hartson had eyes only for the ball. But he mistook it for Martin Keown's head at the last moment. 
I think he's saying, you really should go up, you know, Martin. <laughs> Keith Rowland. Bold ahead of Hartson, though. Ferdinand with Lazaridis to his left. Stan Lazaridis has Ford across to. Oh, and a chance there for Frank Lampard. And he just couldn't quite direct it as he wished. It was a searching cross from Stan Lazaridis. Lampard had space between defenders, didn't quite get over it. Rather squirted off his forehead, up and over David Seaman's crossbar. Arsenal survived some anxious moments, notably John Hartson's penalty in the first half. But they've had a measure of control for much of the night, and they head towards the semi-finals. Arsene Wenger shows very little emotion, but it was a performance as efficient as many that Arsenal have given down the years in the cup competitions. Frustrating night for John Hartson, unable to make any real impression against his old club, and saddled with the disappointment of having missed a penalty which could have given West Ham an early advantage. Arsenal took command, Wright and Bergkamp, who both made major contributions to their success tonight, combining to score before half-time. The West Ham defence combining to give Mark Overmars a second. And although Samasi Abu, with 15 minutes left to play, managed to raise West Ham United hopes. He couldn't raise them into the semi-finals, and Dennis Bergkamp may be heading to a Wembley final. Final score tonight, West Ham United 1, Arsenal 2.